My name is Alias and in this video we're going to be going through how to farm alt accounts on Death Balls AFK aura lobbies to passively earn upwards of 1 million gems every 12 hours. If you do end up learning anything from this tutorial, please be sure to drop the video a like and share it around with some other Death Ball players. Let's begin. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need Roblox Account Manager, which I will have linked in the description, both of these. And you are also going to need a block strap. Now, the first one, Roblox Account Manager, is absolutely necessary for this. Block strap is just to limit the FPS of the clients so that basically your PC doesn't explode. So if you head to the description and scroll down on this link, there will be a download section here. This is for Roblox Account Manager. Click on Releases. And then you just want to install the most recent one. So click on this and then it will bring you to the download page. You want Roblox Account Manager 3.7.1, which is the most recent release as of recording this. Click on that and then it should be downloading here for you. I'm going to do this with both of these. So the exact same for the Blockstrap menu. If you scroll down, it will say download the latest release of Blockstrap. Click on this one, scroll down again, and then you want the .exe version of Blockstrap as well. So now that I've got both of these on my desktop, Desktop, which is just where I've put them. I can extract um, the .zip file of the Roblox account manager. I'm just going to extract it to the desktop. And then boom, that is done. It is made a folder here and everything is in this Roblox account manager.exe. So now you can delete that zip folder if you want. Exact same with the block strap. You want to just launch it. Now, because I have it already installed, I don't have to go through the installation process. The installation process is super, super easy. You just need to make sure that Roblox is not open when you're installing Blockstrap. So if you have decided to use Blockstrap, the first thing you want to do is open the Blockstrap menu. If you can't find it, go into the search bar and just search up Blockstrap menu. It should just be at the top there for you. So open that once you're finished. Now in integrations, you want to make sure that multi-instance launching is ticked. So if you have that unticked, you need to make sure that's ticked. Otherwise it will not work. Next, you want to go into fast flags. Now, if you do want to reduce your FPS for the clients, you want to set this to maybe five maybe ten obviously the game will look awful but you won't be taking up a bunch of your cpu and gpu power running 20 30 alt accounts so once that is done and roblox is obviously closed at this point still you want to head over to your roblox account manager folder don't worry about any of these folders and files these will pop up when you first launch roblox account manager so double click it and let it load now you will have to set a password. I believe it gives you two options. It either gives you a key to the computer, which I wouldn't recommend because if you are ch changing computers quite a lot or you have another computer, it is a struggle to move that key over from one computer to another. I would highly recommend just using a password. So this will pop up. You can see here, I've only got 10 alt accounts, uh, technically 11 because I've got my alias PC account. But for you guys, you will have nothing here. So all you need to do is head on down to add account and then it should bring up Robux automatically. This is Robux.com. This is not a third party Robux manager website or anything. You just need to log in with your username and password and then you should see your account at the top here. The only other thing you need to worry about is the place ID. Right now, for some reason, I've got it on Bloxy Bingo. <laughs> but to find Death Bull's place ID, head over to Roblox.com, click on Death Bull. And then the place ID is just in the URL up here. So if I give that a copy and paste it in there and then click enter, it just comes up with Death Ball as well. So that just basically says what game the alt account or the account is joining to. So now that you've got your main account in uh, and you want to make a bunch of alt accounts, just go to add account again and bring this up. And then the top right, just click sign up. So you can type in any random birthday, just make sure that you're over 18 just in case. And the username can be anything. So I normally just use alias db11. Right now I'm on 10, so 11 is the next one up. Password can obviously be anything. Just make sure you remember the passwords for the alt accounts and then sign up. And it is as simple as that. You don't have to type in your email, your phone number, anything like that. You can just make a fresh account. So set up as many as you like. I would recommend 10 to 15. It depends how good your PC is and how many it can handle. If we click join server, it might take a while to start. You can see that Blockstrap there was loading Roblox. So that has tapped into Roblox and it will just automatically launch from Blockstrap. And it's as simple as that. We are now in through the Roblox account manager. Before you launch any others, I would go to settings, turn down your volume because you don't want a bunch of that AFK aura music playing and turn down your graphics as well. 
And then once you're in, you can start just launching your alternate accounts. Make sure to give it a little bit of time before clicking join server on the next alt. Sometimes it takes a little while for Roblox to kick in and if you're just spamming join server, it just won't launch all the alts. So I haven't launched every single alt, but just for this demonstration, I've launched four of them. So yeah, I've got my main account on the first one, my other account on the second one, and then I've got alias db123, etc, etc. If you're able to keep your PC or laptop on overnight, that is absolutely fantastic. These will begin to accumulate gems. A bonus as well is you have a much higher chance of getting auras like Timekeeper, Dreamwalker. I have got both of these auras from my alt accounts. So that about does it for this tutorial. If you liked this video, please feel free to sub to the channel. We're doing a big gem giveaway for subscribers at 500 subs, so be sure to enter into that for a chance to win. Thank you again for watching and take care guys.